Praise the Lord, family in Christ. My little sister Genevieve here. I hope you're all doing well. I'm just doing a bit of ministry here on Queen Street as the Lord has led me. And the Lord put a man in my path and he wants to share a testimony. Um, glory to God. He's just given his heart to Jesus. And, um, and you know, as soon as I prayed for him, the, he said that he, he feels that his eyes have now been opened and he feels very different. All glory to God. Well, here's Michael and Michael will just share with you what's been happening. And we share, we share because it brings glory to God. You know, Jesus said that we overcome, hallelujah, we overcome by the word of our testimony and by the blood of the Lamb. So hallelujah. So here's Michael. Hello, my name's Michael. I'm 58 years old. Genevieve prayed for me and I feel like my eyes have been open. Something's touched me. I was able, unable to walk away from this girl that was tarot card reading and casting spells. But now I feel as though I have the power to do that. And it's only been because of Jesus Christ. Jesus set you free today. Amen. Set free. Amen. Amen. Do you want to give a bit of encouragement to people who I are suffering? I encourage anybody that, that is that, suffering or going through a hard time Jesus. Or, or, or having problems with healing. I pray, I, I encourage you to have Jesus Christ in your life because without him, you're lost. And with him, you have everything. Jesus said, if I'm for you, who can be against you? And that's so true. I pray for every one of you out there in Jesus' name, amen. All right, praise the Lord. Hey, Michael, don't forget that you are loved. Jesus loves you. He'll never stop loving you, okay? Yeah. And just keep your eyes on him, okay? Because he's the faithful God that keeps his promises to thousands of generations. Most importantly, keep praying, keep reading your Bible, keep trusting him. And, um, and look at how much God loves you that I don't even know you. I've never met you before, but... Um, I can feel your power coming through the power of Jesus through you. Oh, thank you, brother. Well, it's just because I'm the vessel. I'm just the vessel and the instrument. Glory to God. And it's an honor for me to serve him in this way, you know. Serving him for now, for sure. Yes. He loves you, and he's gone to heaven to prepare a place for us. Read your Bible, and um, most importantly, pray to him every day because he loves you. All right? You have a good day, my friend. You too, John. And this one here... <laughs> Do you want to say hi and share, share a little testimony? I'm, I'm good. You're I'm good? good? You're good? <laughs> All right. Well, listen, good to see you I'm still guys. trying to calm down. You're still, yeah. still trying to calm down? <laughs> I'm always hot. You probably need prayer. I think it's the fire of God. That's why you're burning, my brother. That's why you're burning. <laughs> you often come here. What's that? You often come here. Yes, yeah, she does. Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I do a lot of ministry in this area. And just uh, walk as the Lord leads me and just... Um, just look for the shirt. Preach. Yeah, just look for the shirt and the cap. Amen. You can't miss me. The Jesus cap and the Jesus shirt. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. And he's, have you? Good on you. Yes. Right. Oh, good. Well, listen, I'll be praying for you guys. I'm going to head that way. You guys have a good day. Bless you, okay? Take care. Take care. So we encourage everyone today that's hearing the sound of my voice that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back very, very soon, friends. The question is, do you know where you're headed? Where are you going to spend eternity? Where are you going to spend eternity? There is only two places, friend. There's heaven and there is hell. There is no in between. And because of God's love and grace and mercy, hallelujah, he loved you so much to leave you in the condition that you were in. And he came up with a plan, hallelujah, that he would send his son, Jesus Christ, to be the ultimate sacrifice by dying on the cross of Calvary for your sins and for my sins. Hallelujah. That's how much God loved you, that he gave heaven's best so that you and I might inherit eternal salvation. There's no other way to enter the kingdom. Friends, don't be deceived. There's not many ways. There's not even four or three or two ways. There's one way. There's one way. There's one way. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, says the Lord. And, and so if you want to get to heaven, you must go Jesus' way, friend. There's no other way. 
for he is the way and the truth and the life. Hallelujah. And I want to encourage you today that it doesn't matter what you've done in your life. It doesn't matter what sins you've committed. It does not matter where you came from. It does not matter the color of your skin. Jesus is no respecter of persons. He's no respecter of people. This Jesus died for you and me. The son of the living God Lay down his life for you and for me. Sister, it's true. Jesus loves you when he died to set you free. Hallelujah. And so today, as I speak this message to you, friends, I want to encourage you to begin to seek this wonderful Savior with all of your heart. Jesus said, if you seek him, you will find him. Jesus said that if you knock, the door will be opened. And if you seek, you shall find. And if you ask, then it shall be given to you, friends. For whosoever shall seek the truth, hallelujah, they will find eternal life. In Jesus Christ, the Savior. Friends, precious holy blood was shed for you and me. A perfect sacrifice was made for your sins and for my sins. Jesus Christ did not come to condemn the sinner. He did not come to condemn you, but he came to set you free. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus came to set the captives free. And so I want to encourage you today to draw near to Jesus. Don't be ashamed of him. This Jesus I'm talking about died publicly on a cross for you. Hallelujah. So that you could live publicly for him without being ashamed. Many ashamed and embarrassed of the precious name of Jesus. Friends, Jesus said if you're ashamed of him, he too will be ashamed of you on that day. How are you? Sure. Jesus loves you. Have you got him in your heart? Yeah, I'm not here. Amen. You're a born again Christian? No. You have to be born again. Jesus said you must be born again. Yeah, for everybody. Ask him in your heart. He's coming back soon, friends. See, Jesus said that you must be born again if you wish to enter the kingdom of heaven. And so there's so many people that say, no, 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 he's already in my heart. No, no, no. He, you already died for all of us. We don't have to do anything. Friend, that's a lie from the devil himself. That's a lie from the devil himself. The Bible says that if you shall confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord and that God rose him from the dead, then you will be saved. Saved from what? Saved from eternal damnation. Jesus is coming soon, friends. Ask him in your heart. He loves you, okay? God bless you. God bless you. Jesus commands us to shout it from the rooftops. Hallelujah. Not to be ashamed, but to preach truth, friends. Hallelujah. The Bible says, how will they believe unless a preacher is sent? Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I just want to encourage everyone listening to this video. Choose this day whom you will serve. Jesus says, come to me all you who are, who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus wants you to come to him. Acknowledge him as Lord and Saviour. And he will set you free, friends. He will set you free.